episode, we are going to bring you more fun news and important topics to kids. We can also share some fun summer adventures with you. If you want us to visit, email us. Let's see what's going on in the week ahead. The largest hot air balloon, pretty much that anyone's ever seen. <laughs> it reflects everything around it, and here's the director of it. So I have a few questions. Do you have an annual event that you do every year? It's not. This is, this is a one-time only thing. Uh, this balloon was the idea of an artist, and so it's taking a tour through Massachusetts, and this is the only time it's ever happened. And how big is it? Uh, well, to give you perspective, this is kind of cool, I think. You can put 3.5 million basketballs inside the room. That's a lot. So that gives you a sense. That's a lot. Okay. And how much does it weigh? That I don't know. Uh, so the, the guy who made it is here. We can, we, maybe we can track him down at some point, but I, I don't have a lot of stats in the room. Okay. So where are we? So we're at Holmes Field uh, in Plymouth. Uh, if you look around, I think it's pretty beautiful. Good example. Yeah. Looking at the ocean over there. Um, and this is a historic place. Right now it's a hay farm, a uh, hay field, where we send the uh, hay up to farms and hang them. Uh, but a lot of cool stuff happened here. The, uh, before the Revolutionary War, they used to practice here at the Voluntary Militias. It was a golf course, and then a family bought it and donated it to us so that people can enjoy it uh, forever. So who are the trustees? So we are the nation's oldest conservation preservation committee. Uh, we work only in Massachusetts, and every day we are working really hard to make sure that we save special places so that uh, they're accessible to everyone and that they're accessible for everyone. Okay. And what do you guys uh, do? So we maintain all kinds of special places. It could be a field like this, out in the ocean, New Horizons is a project that we created that was really trying to make a project that could move across the landscape from place to place. We wanted to bring together musicians, artists, ecologists, all kinds of conversations and really look at the idea that we're all kind of in this together.